So what are the four principles in a brief nutshell here? Well, I, I like to at least give it to you where it came from before you even listen to the four principles. Mm. They're so simple and yet so powerful. And I'd like to at least um, even give you a, a minute back, uh, background of where they came from. Uh, in a nutshell, in 1973, I was 21, and I, I was one of those people that I, I crashed with my health. Before I was an athlete, I was powerful, I could do 90 pull-ups, I could do a lot of stuff. And, but anyway, I crashed and um, I got to a point where instead of going to the bathroom uh, twice a day, I got to a point where eventually I got to a point where I was going to the bathroom once every three weeks. And, Oopsie. Yeah, <laughs> and I became very toxic and I ended up with severe acne, rash, allergies. I broke out with a, t a big tumor behind my head, which is a pocket of toxins. And, and then I ended up with, and I was facing surgery because of it, and then I ended up with chronic asthma and arthritis. I was 21 years of age when this happened to me. And I didn't smoke, drink, or take drugs, and I wondered why I was right. suffering with all this. And so, anyway, one day, I was led to walk away from the medical field, walk away from the surgery, medication, all that. And I went through a near-death experience, and I actually embraced this bright light, and I saw presence, and I was told what to do and, and I, I was given these four principles and they were placed upon my heart and I took them on I did it and within six months everything went away never came back in 41 years so I'm here to say that these principles are very simple but powerful mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm looking forward to conveying it to you in a nutshell here, here's the four principles the first one is called cellular communication how you yeah, this internal dialogue that you got going on within yourself the second one is about cellular environment, and, and then the next one is called cellular exercise. And we'll talk about each one of them and break it down just a little bit more. And then you've got cellular nutrition, how do you feed the body from the cellular perspective. So the first one, this, this cellular communication that we got going on, how we communicate spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. There's a relationship that we got going on within ourselves. and the more that you learn how to communicate powerfully in, in these areas will make your life way better because you see that's one of the reasons why we falter and, and, and run short in life is because we haven't learned how to connect spiritually in a powerful way and we haven't learned how to communicate in our thinking powerfully we haven't learned how to use selective thinking or manage our thoughts and how to distinguish the difference between uh, empowering thoughts and disempowering thoughts and how to choose how to think powerfully so another thing with the emotions we haven't learned a lot of us have, still have a lot of hidden emotions going on you know like fears and anger resentment guilt shame grief these negative emotions actually distort the integrity and the quality of the cells so when you learn how to get clear and complete with past issues and how to recreate reinvent redirect your life and how to come from a space of love and respect and honor like self-respect and and self-honoring and realizing that we're actually spiritual electrical infinite beings that can create any possibility mm -hmm. you know sometimes we we get bamboozled bamboozled in life and uh, neglected rejected or whatever and abused or whatever the case and and i've been through it most people have and, but we make up stories we make up stories that we're not good enough or we're not smart enough or we're too fat we're too skinny or too ugly or not enough of something and all those things are not even true. The truth is we're powerful and we're amazing and we can actually recreate and reinvent our lives. Now the second principle is about cellular, uh, cellular env environment and that's integrating the environment. That's integrating and embracing the sun on a daily basis and learning how to breathe slow and deep and powerful and how to drink that good water and replenish and re-flush our systems and regulate our systems, you know. And, uh, and, and drink the structured water, the good, pure, structured water. How to ground ourselves. These are things we need to learn how to do. And then the third one is about cellular exercise, how to stimulate the lymphatic system, how to oscillate every cell. That's why, that's why more and more people are getting into rebounding on the trampoline, jumping two, 20, 30 minutes a day to stimulate that lymph, which helps process the waste byproducts and toxins out of your body. How to do breath work, how to do hot, cold showers or detox uh, bathing or the hot saunas or the cold plunges and mm. anything to do stimulation of the lymph, right? So um, people get into yoga and hot yoga, and all kinds of wonderful things like that. It's really powerful to do. So when I say I haven't worked out for 44 years since high school, 1970, when I graduated, 
What I mean by that is I haven't done the gym stuff in the calisthenics, but I've been doing yoga, rebounding, breath work, hot cold applications, and things like that. And you're how old now? I mean, you 60, 62. He's 62, yeah. and he's looking like he's 42 and, and so, having lots of endless energy. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's been nothing but great. It really has. And it, you can have it for yourself, too. And then the third, fourth one is how to feed the body from a cellular perspective. So that's why we get into raw, living, plant based, rich, enzyme rich foods. And we also teach people how to culture their foods. And uh, like we just made, uh, where is it? We just made some almond coconut yogurt. It's culturizing, you know? It's really awesome. It's amazing. It's easy to digest. It's amazing. But we want to get into eating enzyme rich foods. We we don't really have to kill animals. We don't have to we don't have to kill our food anymore. We can actually live on fresh life foods and do it successfully and powerfully. You really can. I've been doing it for years, forty one years. <laughs> That's awesome. It, it works. And so our fourth principle I talked about that. It's called cellular nutrition. Nutrition. Okay. That's why we're eating fruits and vegetables and herbs okay. in a natural state. Yep. That's why we're taking nuts and seeds. We soak them, we germinate them, and then we culturize them and activate them. It's 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 so easy to digest in that way, and you get so you get all the nutritional value from them in that way. Perfect. And my 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 dear friend who I got to be with about 17 years ago, I really thought he was 43, 45 years of age, and he was 75, wow. and he was living like this for years. <laughs> so he for me he was a. <laughs> A validation for me. It was an inspiration and a validation and confirmed to me that these four principles are real. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I got a little discouraged sometimes throughout the years, but when I met him, phew, it for sure, you know, like locked me in. He was your mentor. Yeah. Well, he was one of them, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and he was, but he was a great mentor and he was a, a great example for me. And so may, may I could, if, if I can be that for you, mm -hmm. it, uh, <laughs> I, I, that's why I'm doing this. Yeah. Lou gets a little choked up now because he loves helping people so much. It's so adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. <laughs> well, tell us, you know, when you get a moment here, tell us, you know, what are some of the success stories that people have had that you've seen and witnessed over the years? Like, literally, there's lives being transformed from disease to wellness. And give us a few examples of what's going well, on. Well, that's there. why it brings tears to my eyes because I've seen and witnessed for many years uh, traveling all over the world teaching coaching helping people understand these teachings and how to apply them and and I've seen every disease you can think of people put names on go away because of this and and I, I want you to just know that there's only one disease mm. there's many names but there's only one name that covers every disease there is it's called toxemia mm. So when you learn how to get rid of toxic thinking, toxic emotions, heavy metals, chemicals, parasites, virus, bacteria, and yeast, and you get that stuff out of your system and learn how to live in such a way where you don't attract that into your life anymore. You see, there's a way how you can do that. And so as you learn how to cleanse, how to heal, how to regenerate yourself, and then maintain cellular integrity, oh my gosh. That's when, you, that's when you lean up, clean up, become radiant, strong, vibrant, with abundance of energy, and feel incredible. Feel, you feel so good you almost can't stand it kind of thing. <laughs> that's why I'm so grateful to, to not only have learned it and have lived it and experienced it for myself, but, but I, I want this for everybody. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have a great life, a superior life for yourself, if you're willing to love yourself enough and appreciate this life enough and be grateful for this life and take it on, then learn these things and take it on for yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think uh, totally. one thing I'd like to say too is um, when, when I formed a company called Puridime to come out with the highest possible quality, highly activity enzymes, the broadest spectrum enzymes with no fillers and for the most best affordable price ever in history, you want to consider adding Lifezyme to your meals. Because Lifezyme, it means, it's spelled L-I-Y-F, Lifezyme. And that means life in your food. <coughs> and we're trying to encourage people to put life in their food. So if you're eating cooked food, which is, you know, I wouldn't do it, but if you're still there doing that and you don't know any better, or you're working your way out of that, then you want to consider taking Lifezyme. Let me tell you, let me show you something. Do you some You want, yeah, I do. Oh, here it is. But, 
The reason we're eating fresh life foods is because of the life force within the food, the enzyme activity in the food. You, when you cook food, you destroy the life within the food. It's called enzymes, right? So, you know, um, I don't know if you remember Dr. Howe, but he's a medical doctor scientist, went 50 years all over the world studying the longest living people in the world, and he discovered that these people who live the longest on the planet are living on enzyme-rich foods. Hmm. And he discovered that enzymes is the missing link to longevity. He also discovered that the quicker you use up your enzyme potential in your body, the quicker you age and you're responsible for ill health. Mm -hmm. And so, so what he did is he basically learned how to put all his patients on fresh life foods and get rid of all their diseases. But then they went home and they went right back to cook food. Oh. Because it's a habit. It, we're creatures of habit, right? right? Yeah. And he also discovered that every time you cook food, your body has to use more of its own enzymes to digest that food more than you make in return. So therefore, you end up becoming enzyme deficient in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sticky, gooey oatmeal cereal. You can see it's pretty sticky, right? We just cooked <laughs> it up a few minutes ago and let it cool down. Now, we, I'm just going to drop some see, these powerful enzymes in here. Go ahead and mix it. So as Laura's mixing the enzymes in the oatmeal, the oatmeal is so gooey. It's been it's been sitting for a little while, and it's kind of got, got almost like concrete. But once once that little bit of moisture is still left in that oatmeal, as it mixes with the enzymes, the enzymes will begin to start activating. These plant-based, full-spectrum, highly active enzymes as they begin to activate, they'll begin to start breaking down the proteins into amino acids, the fats into fatty acids, the carbohydrates into glucose. And so as she's doing starting that for, get you, you notice how it's starting liquidy. to break down? Yeah. Maybe I should give you another one to speed it up. What do you think? Well, it looks like it's almost there already. So the enzymes are kind of like little worker bees, right? They like oh, yeah. the little mechanics of the body. Is yeah, well, what happened was, what we want to get out of this conversation is, is that every time you cook food, or if you're eating organic food that comes from enzyme deficient soil, which is the case in North America, that's why I still use enzymes myself. Because even though I live on organic life foods 100% for many years, I still take uh, enzyme, lysine, with my meals to help compensate for the enzyme deficiency in my food. Mm -hmm. Because North America, organic soil in North America is running anywhere between 30 to 80 percent mm -hmm. enzyme and mineral deficiencies. It's a true story. It's been proven, documented. I mean, and so. that's another solution we need to come up with. Obviously, support your organic farmers. You know, grow your, your own gardens. You know, make find out how to get your own soil nice and rich. But in the mm -hmm. meantime, we got to deal with the situation that's, and still that's the issue. get our bodies that's healthy. The issue. Look, look, this is. It's yeah. like. <laughs> okay, pour it from there to there. And that's just in like what a minute or two. Yeah. It's starting to just totally it's break just, down. It's just nice and broke down and mm -hmm. liquefied, and that's what you want. So when you're eating food, you want to chew it really well. Yes, that's where digestion starts, really. And then, and then when it goes into your tummy, your stomach, you want it to you pre digest like this uh, before it goes into the tract, in the intestinal tract, and that way your body then can absorb it much better, much easier. And because inside the inter intestinal tract, you have what these called villi, right? These little villi, um, a bunch of them, inside the wall of the intestinal tract, every section of that tooth feeds every section of the body. So if, if the villi are absorbing these micronutrients, right? Amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, it can carry the minerals in, activate mm -hmm. vitamins, produce enzymes, hormones, build muscle, hair, skin, bones. That's how you feed your body I on see. a cellular level. That makes see? sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when yeah. it goes into the colon, then it, the waste goes out. You have a soft, easy formed eliminations with a faint odor of any. But mm -hmm. you know what's happening with most people? With most people are eating cooked food, not taking Are you telling enzymes. me that your farts don't stink or do you even have any? <laughs> Good, good point. Good point. Hey, everybody, everybody farts one way or the other. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is that some do uh, stink horribly, and then some don't, and some are in between. So what I'm saying to you is that when you run more cleaner, more efficiently, you're digesting better and assimilating better and absorbing better and metabolizing better, eliminating better, 
you, when you have any gas or air that passes through your system and even if it releases, it's not strong and foul and all that anymore. Mm. You know, I remember back in the day when, when, when I was raised with my, my, my two younger sisters and through, you know, brothers and all that, and family and parents and all that. Anybody that went to the bathroom, nobody wanted to go to the bathroom any, after, after anybody left because it was <laughs> wicked. It doesn't have to be that way is what you're saying. It doesn't have so, to be that way. Yeah, no. yeah, so thank you, Lou. I love you and everybody else and <laughs> we're all one and, and uh, let's just keep growing and evolving, right? Absolutely. And we'll do our best to bring you some more really fun videos that you can watch to learn how to make some of the recipes Lou has created that have been keeping him so healthy over the years. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you.